I'm going to try to make pho chicken using the Instant Pot. So right now I'm just charring the ginger, the onion, and then right here I have, um, what do you call that, shallot. So we're gonna char that to make it get all the aroma out. I have a whole chicken here. I've already, it's already defrost. Um, I cleaned it with hot water. I let it soak in hot water. And now I'm gonna put it in this boiling hot water. Just, just get all the impurities out so that it's not in my soup. All right, like this. The goal is not to cook the chicken, but just to get all the scum and yuck out of it. I soaked the chicken in this boiling hot water for about, I don't know, maybe five to 10 minutes. And now we're gonna get it out. I even turned off the heat when I dropped it in there because I wasn't trying to cook it. Look at that. Char and onion, and this is the shallots. And here are the ginger that has that great smoky char. I'm gonna go ahead and put some garlic in there. I put it at the end. The reason why is because it can get um, burnt faster. These are the spices that I'm using. These are star anise, cinnamon sticks, um, coriander seeds, and fennel seeds. And I put it in the air fryer and I sauteed it also. Now that I'm done with that, I put the chicken, all the onions, garlic, shallots, and ginger in here. And we're gonna pour all this water in there. So I poured enough water all the way to the max line. and. We'll see how this goes. Um, I'm gonna go, to, go ahead and do pressure cooker on high, and we're gonna do 35 minutes. And let's see. I didn't put any of the fish sauce or the sugar yet. I will add some salt, but I'm just gonna wait on the fish sauce and everything else. So we're gonna release the valve. I don't really know what I'm doing here, so we'll see. I didn't know it takes several minutes to release um, the pressure from the pressure cooker. I'm just telling you, on the side over here, it tells you the, well, I can't move it, it's hot. It tells you the minutes. So now, since all the pressure is all out, because you can hear this click, we're going to open the lid. Oh, shit! I didn't know there was going to be a lot of steam. I didn't want to get burnt. Whoa, look at that. It looks amazing. So what I'm going to do is take chicken out, and then I'm going to strain all the all the onions and herbs that's in here. <coughs> I did this for 30 minutes. And you can see the legs are just falling right off. Whoa, that's how tender it is. Yeah, it's just gonna have to fall apart. I'm gonna move this part first. That bone just fell apart. Oh, wow, there we go. Wow, look at that. This looks good. This is the only thing I got. So we're just going to use this. Look at all that. Wow. Oh, that's a chicken neck. If you wanted your broth to be less fatty, you could always, you could have cut off, I could have cut all the, the skin off before I cooked it, but I wanted the flavor. These are just garden dirt gloves, but we're going to use it to, because I don't want to burn my hand. They have all the seeds on the bottom. This is fried garlic. Put this on top of anything is so good. All right, guys, I am about to eat my pho ga that I made today. Um, there's noodles, bean sprouts, cilantro, green onion, red onion. And this is from, this is a chicken from the whole chicken that I used to make the soup. All right, let's see. And I topped it off with fried garlic. You know, Campbell's always gotta have fried garlic in their soup. All right, let's try this. I put chicken on top of it. Mmm. It tastes, it tastes like pho. I mean, it's made from chicken, but it just tastes like pho. So good. This is how I make pho gah, and I hope you enjoy this recipe.